All right, homies, what is up? Welcome back to more Control. Not quite sure what episode this is in, but we are well into the meat of the game. Thank you guys so much for your support up to this point. It really means a lot. Keep making sure you hit the like and subscribe button. How much that helps me, man. Can't be understated. Oh my, oh my, oh my. I can fly, so... Hey. What are you doing in there? Oh, thank God. Look, someone has to watch this object at all times, or it deviates. My ship replacer never showed up. Can you help me? Damn. I can't. I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back. I promise. Okay. Okay. Just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. Good God. Refrigerator duty. That's super funny. I mean, it's not, but it is, you know. It's not funny. <laughs> I take it back. I'd be pissed. I'd be pissed if I had to stare at a fridge. And you know he did his whole shift, however long that is. Okay, so I'm wondering... Possible to fly up here? No. Okay, what if I stand on something first and then float up? Hmm? No, I, I just can't get up here. Oh, I can. Let's go. Go. We're up here now. This is the fifth floor, then maybe, hopefully. Okay. The first zoom boost. Okay. There's a swan in there. That's ominous. A water jug right there, maybe. body here that's fantastic into the p6 Dylan. cell oh man he's so close this is blinking oh okay that had to close for this to open All right what are we working with what do we got i'm in here Take this real fast open up Hello? Can you hear me? Or can, Pope. Give me a second. Are you there, Jesse? Emily? He's gone. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. We need to get back. Is it me or does Dylan look like a cold psychopath? <laughs> I mean, I don't want that. I want Jess to be happy, but let's be honest. He looks psychotic. Get in here. We got, what do we got? Anything over here? Just flying around just to fly around at this point. So this was like his little like isolation cube or whatever. Jesse. Oh, that's so weird. Okay. Here. I'm just taking a look around. I don't really see anything like like worthwhile or whatever. Just flying around just to fly around. Just look and see if there's like any um you know, hidden little treats in the nooks and crannies of this place. I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's go back. I can't go through? Oh, I can. Kind of hard to control a little bit. Sort of what I think levitation would be, would kind of feel like, you know? Okay. Open this up. Oh, this takes forever. Like, they weren't playing any games. This place is really kind of locked down tight, you know? Open up. Thank you. All right. I'm just going to jump, you know? Just jumping. Just jump down. <laughs> Look at us, man. Look at us. 
We're awesome. Okay. Something over here called fire break. That is. Better not get blamed for this mess in the next performance review. I have to review. That's really what you're worried about right now. Let me know when the hiss are gone. I miss my desk. Nothing to say to you. I think he's my least favorite. I'll see you and like Marshall is straight disrespectful, but Langston here. is just I don't know. He sort of just embodies things that make everyone a little annoyed. That's what it seems like, at least. Super girl, let's get it, man. Does it cost energy to fly? I actually didn't notice. No, it doesn't cost any energy to fly around. So, okay, wait, where do we go? Could hit this shelter. Oh! Think this is a game? Fly around, bro. I don't think these things drop health either. Oh my gosh. Point. Can I fast travel? Oh, yes. That's so much better. So much better. What's this? Lar launch large objects? Yes, please. Yes, please. I think so. Astral constructs. Weapon form. What are these? What are these? Upgrade the pierce. Finn has a generous magazine and a high rate of fire. Best use in controlled burst. Okay. I don't want to upgrade the Pierce. I've really liked it. I've really liked it. We get an extra weapon mod for that. And... Alright, so let's go ahead and fast travel. We'll fast travel over to M. Right? Over to... The Central Executive. That's where we want to be. And here we go. Alright. We're here. Let's see what the folks got to say about oh. it. She had to write everything in a made-up gibberish code. I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, okay. not the point. My old ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hetz, and Stone, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. They had beers and wings planned. Problem is... They weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck. And I really don't want the hiss to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay hiss. Hey. Okay. Lots of extra side missions. I I, I'm interested. Nobody's commented the only one. just yet if you guys want like a side missions episode oh, or two or whatever the case is. You know what y'all think about that. All right, Emily. The resonance emitted from the HRAs is purely in. No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? Of course. Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. All right.
Speak with Dylan, man. It's finally time. It's come. Time is come. What is this? They're in there. We go around that way. Probably get immediately distracted. Is the recorder on? Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, I can't fly in here? They're gonna make me take the stairs? Oh man, I feel like such a peasant. And we haven't been in here collecting all these documents. I don't know what upstairs part we're supposed to go to. I would imagine here with the guards, probably. There he is. <laughs> go figure. Looks a little too far gone to me, Jess. Dylan, wake up, buddy. Shit. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Can to you be stop true. that? Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in, you've always been here! The only true! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop it! Orange peel! Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small, in ordinary, in the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for a pause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will emerge out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it, and they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I mean, your worm is a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. 
You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this lie projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a one through time. But the you are a one through time. Oh, this guy's a trip. See if he's got any more to say. I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in ordinary. Before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. A girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Sure. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? You are a one through time, but the risk will destroy it. He could just keep going. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I'm gonna do it one more time while he says something super weird. Maybe Dylan's still in there. Maybe there's a way to reach him. I'd like to talk to my brother, please. Dylan? Dylan would like to tell you about a dream he had just now. This again? I was going to be the new director of this place. I helped you get a job here so that we could be together. You were an office assistant. You'd make coffee and deliver the mail. And there was always plenty of work to do. And it stayed that way. Forever and ever. It was nice. Really nice. That's debatable. But here's the strange thing. The dream shifted. And none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game. And it was a fucking boring game. But you couldn't stop playing. And then it shifted again. Or, or maybe it was another dream already. Or, or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary girl from an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office. Something, 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 something. And that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. Definitely for the best. <laughs> all right, guys. Sorry, we just let him ramble. And we can continue to let him ramble. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for entertaining Nap. Thank you guys so much for clicking on the video. This is going to be the end of this episode. If you're enjoying the series, make sure to hit a like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And uh, I'm going to see you all in the next episode, man. Peace.